Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dear. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go ahead and hop on over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. But if you want the exclusive content, you got to sign up for our membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section, there is a link that says join our membership. Click that link. Takes you through all the process. And, you know, y'all say you support us. Y'all love what we're doing. Y'all say keep pushing. This is how we can keep pushing. Go ahead and buy our memberships. Thank you very much. Man, we got a guy in here today, y'all. Hey, man, he, this is his second time on the show. This brother right here, man. Hey, listen, we've been talking. We talk, uh, we link back up, uh, we built a relationship. If you ain't call me, nigga, don't try to call me now to try to make up for it, but you need to be staying in contact with me when we rocking out. If we ain't, and I gotta go through your manager, uh, gorgeous, uh, you know what I'm saying, well, you ain't my partner for real, man. Check it, man, bread with a cadence in the field. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, boss talk? Man, you on, you, on, you on the show, nigga. Man, I already know, we live. <laughs> man, thank you so much for coming back, man. I know you guys been real busy. I seen you guys in L.A. Mm-hmm. I seen you guys at, at South by Southwest. Yeah. Uh, last time I talked to you, you were getting to it, getting mm-hmm. to the money getting down by it. ETL. Like all this stuff that you got going on, man. Thank you so much, man, for making this easy for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Uh, we got we about to get into it, man. Uh, so you know, last time you was here, trouble two times. Was it uh, trouble two times? Th- he was with you. Was you with know what him. I'm saying? Um, yeah. He no longer with us now. Yeah, rest in peace, B.I.P. to trouble. Wow, man, you know, and like I said, I tapped into him because of you. You know what I'm saying? True, true. Um, you brought him by, you know what I'm saying? Uh, seemed like these guys were very into your brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, at that time, you were coming off a hyenas. You had just left Houston. You was dealing right. with Sauce Walker. True. Um, like, how, what, what was it that you seen in, in, in trouble two times that you know, made you want to work with him? Man, I was on Instagram. It was some chick on Instagram. I can't remember her name, but salute to Shawty. Um, she DM'd me his video, and his video was Welcome Down. So I just looked at him as a different type of individual, and I was right about Trouble because, you know, Trouble could be trusted. Trouble wasn't a thief. He was a good guy. If he loved you, he loved you. He was loyal. And I think I picked up the excellent, perfect person to uh, to be an artist on my team and to join the TSF family. So Trouble kind of introduced me to the TSF. Um, I had met Walt back with Gates, but Trouble kind of introduced me to TSF because, uh, again, because he did a song with Saucewood Winning. Shout out to Saucewood uh, Winning. Salute to Saucewood Winning. And I helped Trouble break bread. Uh, I put uh, about 10 Gs or uh, something like that behind Trouble when he first started. So he got that feature. He was waiting on his second feature before he passed. And um, he always was telling me that I needed to be over there with the sauce. And we went to a meeting over there to get the deal done. And Sauce Walker told me, look, Kane, I know you. I remember you from Gates. You got to get up off your ass, and get off them crutches, and start back working. If you working in and you rapping, then we gonna bring trouble in on the next one. Probably would have been this year, would have been his year. So, you know, I mean, B.I.P. to trouble, man, we was working, it's still, uh, it's gonna be that for life for trouble, B.I.P., man. Man, you know, um, when you got the call that you, you know that he had, he had transitioned and all that, what was it like and wh- how did you even hear about it? Man, it was crazy. Actually, we it was like July, Cause we was on this We Outside tour. We do that every year. It's finna come up this year. So I had just seen him on FaceTime. So I'm like, bro, why you not on this tour with us? Like, you supposed to be here with us. Wood here, we got Bobby here. Um, we waiting on you. So what you want me, you want me to book your flight now? He like, nah, I'm gonna I'm catch y'all in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be in Dallas like the next two weeks. So actually, when I got off the phone with him, I guess the next day, the incident happened. So everybody kind of waited to tell me. They didn't want to tell me the bad news. But bro, that, that really broke me down, you know, because he was a family member to me. Like that was somebody I truly trusted to lay down and go to sleep and walk over me. He was in my house for like two months when I had my accident with my leg. Had my rollies in there, all my ice and shit. He never touched it for two months. 
So wow. Trouble was a real one, man. I love That's you, bro. That's huge, man. Like I said, man, we, we definitely going to miss him. I you I know he would have ended up on the show because of you. For sure. Because, like I said, whatever you doing, I'm doing. You know how I am once you link with Boss Talk mm -hmm. 101. Like, like when I link with you, after that, it's we trying to build something together. And that's kind of how I build up this platform. So I know for a fact, with him being linked with you so close, his next step would have been on would've Boss been Talk on him. We talked about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If he would, you know, if he would have, you know, been fortunate enough, but it was his time. God called him home. So, but yeah, we still pushing his legacy. I still got a song that I'm finna come out here to Dallas and do a video. Uh, it's me in trouble. Me and his mom talk. We talk every now and then. So it's gonna be pretty soon that we're gonna do a big barbecue out here in Dallas and dedicate That's everything hard. to trouble. Just let me know and whatever I can do from this end. Most on definitely, Boss Talk I need you out there. I'm gonna rock out with I you. Need you know you what I'm saying? It's, sure. it's hard to get old boss talk out there. Man, I need you, baby. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me the idea to put the whole thing together. Yeah, yeah. This moment we're gonna be at, going to get his tombstone. Wow. And we're gonna do a barbecue, and then I'm gonna try to shoot that video. Wow, man. I just want to say, man, thank you for you know uh, linking with the Dallas market, Texas mm -hmm. period on the mm -hmm. whole. You know, I, uh, being a, a person that you know stationed here and 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 all always rocking out with the people who God put in my life. Mm -hmm. You one of those guys, man, that when I link with you, you were so solid. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you could feel the energy when it's a real energy right. with all certain individuals. You know what I'm saying? The streets and all that, it come full circle it when we're talking. You know? So it. it's just a great thing to link with you, man. Like I, I tell you, man, I seen you down there at South by Southwest doing your mm -hmm. thing. You link with Kid Kid. I seen yeah, that. Yeah, Kid Kid. Kid Kid, a real one. I've been on his music for a long, long time ever since he was with Lil Wayne and the squad. Then he went with G Unit with 50 with Young Buck and them. So Kid Kid, he a real one. We actually supposed to be here in the studio but we was both working so hard down there side by side west and you know the studio was booked I think Walkenham had the studio booked but then again man you know we gonna link up we got new music coming me and Kid Kid got something to break out man I love to see it man cause now, now he was the one that 50 Cent him picked up on 50 him. Cent picked up he on that we the we the yeah, yeah 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 yeah, 50 picked him up. You know, like I said he got good relationship in the industry he just dropped his new shit with uh, BG so, you know, he told me, let's hit the studio, man. Salute the kid kid. He a real one. Man, I like that, man. Like I said, anytime I hear you guys is working and, and see you guys the way you was doing down there, man, uh, you you also, man, I'm, I don't know how y'all did the shake, but you and Sauce uh, were shot. You know, it was like, a, yeah, you, you know, you concentrated that. on a little bit more than he did. He was real yeah, with it. Bye, yeah, bye, see, bye, I got to concentrate. You concentrated I, on you it, see, nigga. You see I'm me watching watch everything, you. Yeah, man. So let me, let me explain that. That's, that's the new shake. That's the TSF. That's the TSF thing. So what we doing, we doing the TSF love. So when we shake up like that, that's the TSF love. I'm really just learning to shake within a year. But I see the shake, so it look good, I, I it look to, good. I have to pay attention to what's going on, but sometimes you can catch me, I can do it without looking, but yeah, that's that TSF business. It look good, it look good, man. You know, you and him, y'all hugged it out like like that shit guy. Like, like I love seeing you guys link together. I love what it represents when you see brothers coming together. See a lot of people talk down and man, them, you know, but at the end of the day just to see brothers come together yeah yeah you, huge, you know people man. gonna talk and try to knock everything and hate and try to post salt but at the end of the day as a uh, personal individual and as an artist He's a great person. He's one of the best rappers out right now. Well, you know, he finally got the link with the big dog up there, and I'm the big dog, of course. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the big I dog. Seen, I seen him in uh, 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 Vegas, man. He finally hugged it out. Oh, yeah? yeah he we, coming on the show? I, he say he is. You know, he say he got to because I show him so much love. You he know? need to you be gotta realize Walk, Get I your show, ass up here, I show Walk. him so much love. It was funny when he seen me hug me. He said, man... Bro, you show all my artists love, bro. I got to come up there. He said, man, Propane even told me I got to come. And I was yeah, like, salute to I was Pro. Like, I, I just met Pro. Pro. I just met Pro uh, before I left. That's the homie. Pro did, did um, the whole thing and um, the whole setup, the whole show. Yeah. Yeah, man, man, dope. G nigga bro. hard, ain't he? Yeah, man, hard. I, I love New Freestyle King. <laughs> I salute the little Flip, though. Salute. Oh, for sure. Flip the for Freestyle sure. flip King. The freestyle but King. Propane coming, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, so Propane I, is a dope dude that been on Boss Talk and, and a few times. And he going to call me. We going to FaceTime. We going to talk about stuff. I just love the fact that his energy is. He mm -hmm. know about, you know, down there where I'm from, really, originally, mm -hmm. when I was young. You know, he been, he been through some of those same loops and circles, you know, and 
and H Town. Um, you know, it's just dope, man. And uh, to see all of y'all meshing him and Sauce real close, yeah. so I know y'all gonna mesh. You man, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I just man, it's like we've been knowing each other forever. When we dapped up, it's like ah, oh, man, it's love. Yeah, you know what I mean, he one of them ones, man. But but Sauce back to him, man. We linked up. We hung out. I, we met a few people in Vegas, you know. I linked him with a few of my people, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then just the way we, it's like we knew each other all the time, you know That's what I'm it. saying? Mike D, them niggas. You know, Mike D. Man, I gave him some love, <laughs> man. Like, when they see the me. The Dallas King, man, Mike D. Listen, I showed them boy love, man. Like, they they know now. It's like, yeah. it's what you got to get in the room Deezy with been up here yet? He ain't been up here, but we talked about it. I was in okay. Atlanta. Okay. And he texted okay. me and he was like, E, I'm back in town, so okay. I'm going to show him some love. Yeah, you know, I can say it. And he showed me love. We we linked up out of town. Like I said, we met in Vegas. Sauce and him was they were all linked up, and it was just a beautiful thing to see that Texas love come together like For that sure. when we was out there. But definitely love seeing you rock with them boys. Like, mm -hmm. what made you say I'm gonna rock? I know it was trouble two time had a lot to do with it. Yeah, but just to say I'm gonna be with these guys and I'm gonna link it. to put the tattoo on your damn listen man you to yourself business boy you hell man like man, like, like hell. you got you got the BWA Red yeah, One Association then you got you got the TSF like what do you think when, when people see you with both brands on like that what, what what does that mean like that means I'm working that means I'm somebody you can't find somebody that can represent both brands and I got the BMF ring on so you got know what I'm saying ring on. I represent the culture I represent us as people, as black people, and coming in a positive way. I ain't nothing negative about this. This ain't no game. You understand? This is a record label. This is a family. We look out for each other. So why I link with Walk so hard? Because Gates was linked with Walk. Okay. He introduced me to Walk. So I'm trying to get into Texas market, my music. I got a lot of fans. When you pull up my my Atlas to show what's going on, uh. Man, Texas is one of the biggest markets. So I'm like, okay, let me see what I'm going to do. He didn't want to do He said we, he wanted to sign trouble, but he wanted to get me and put trouble under me so I could, you know, guide trouble and, you know, mold him. Like, you know, if trouble really would have listened, he would have been on the road. Mm -hmm. You got to be an artist. I'm, I'm like sort of like artist development or street development. Because if you ain't from the streets, you can get with me, you're going to learn about the streets. I can't teach you too much about school. I ain't go to college. But I can teach you about life and about how to move out here in the music industry and shit like that. So that's what Walk seen in me. And yeah. Trouble knew that about me. You know, I gave Trouble motivations many times. The Trouble done hit me. Man, I want them through rapping. No, no, you rapping, dog. Ain't no going back on the rap. I'm rapping. I don't want to do it neither. But we both got to motivate each other to get up and go get it. You feel me? So that's how that, that's how wow. that came about. I, I, I love that, man. And, and, and the fact that you stayed down and you guys are still working, you know, you and Sauce Wood went and doing music together man, like you yeah. guys have done. For sure. And, and, and just rocking out like you guys have done, man. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. A total blessing, man. Thanks for the link also to Zaytoven when I hit you up, man. Yeah, you, for you know, sure. You always brother. answer and you always come on with it. And I think that's the whole game for me. You know, uh, you and Zaytoven linked and y'all built a, a, a great relationship, man. How have you guys been able to maintain and keep that? Because I seen you took pictures with him here right, recently. Right, right. Uh, I was, we was out in LA when I took that picture at the okay. Grammys. We was at a panel. Actually, we was with a lot of platinum producers. I can't name all of them, but I know one of them was Ice Spice producer. Shout out. That's the one I remember. But, you know, Zay, we go all the way back from, like I said, when I first started doing promotion for clubs. He was with Gucci. I bought Zay his first Triton keyboard. Wow. So it's like, we've been homies for forever. We like brothers. I've been to his mama house, started in Zay mama basement. So it's like, I mean, Zay, I don't look at Zay as a, he's a superstar, most definitely platinum producer, rich. Yeah. But I look at Zay as just Zay, my, my homie, my friend. You know, I don't really look for a handout from Zay. I mean, I might hit him for a beat here and there and not then get Why on his not? nerves. But, you know, other than that, me and Zay, we, I get around Zay, I get that good positive vibe. I get positive energy because Zay plays for the church. He don't do no drinking. He never really chased women. He ain't out here chasing nothing. He got some jewelry. I can't say he ain't chasing that jewelry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you chasing the jewelry. Bling, bling. But you ain't chasing women. You ain't chasing money. You ain't chasing without. You wouldn't 
in the in the field I was in. So it's always to be around Zay and feel the positive energy from Zay Tobin. I think that's I think, and that's probably what drew me to him was seeing that he you know he has that feel. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm, I went through all that already. Mm-hmm. You know, and he it, never did. Yeah, he never did. Ever my brother I never did. Him. My brother. Ever since I, I met hadn't him, had a drink since what wow. 1995. Five, right. Oh. You know, I ain't had a drink of smoke. Oh, you had a drink since 1995. Damn you. <laughs> You, uh, hey, that's you know what I meant to say. <laughs> so what I'm for? I was in, I think I was in the ninth <laughs> grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I quit drinking and smoking way back then. So, you know, and my brother, who never smoked a drink, kind of like Zay, and, and you know, the thing it is, it's like, I, you got to understand, man, when you see these type of people, you want to see what make them tick. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, I never seen him this, lose this, control. This, I want to see he what got making robbed. tick. You see what I, I'm saying? Still, I said, Zay, boy, I'm about to go over here. Gonna, you know what I'm saying? Where he at? Who, who did it, boy? He like, nah, I can't chill out, man. That little, that little shit ain't nothing to me, man. Just chill. We, I just ain't gonna be around them type of people. I ain't gonna trust nobody like that. I said, okay, then. Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, I'm a ride for Zay. I'm a bust a nigga here to the white know. meat. I already know what's going down. That's yeah. what you, you got niggas around you that'll do whatever for you yeah. when you're a good nigga. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, and Zay a good nigga. You can for tell sure. just by the way that he carries himself. For That's sure. why I won't been trying to link with him. That's why I always, I'm always, if I go to ATL, if I hear he's somewhere and I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna try to link with him because sure. good niggas need to be around good niggas. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way that go, man. Yeah. But you one of them ones that he linked with early on. I thank God he put put you in his life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And and that's dope, man. So what's up next for you? Like what what do you what do you see coming this next quarter? It's coming up. Man, March is I, over. We can hit that second quarter. What's going down? I already dropped my first single right now. It's called Main Ones. Okay, Main Ones. Yeah, yeah I seen that. And it's it's actually an EP. The Main Ones is a single off the EP called The Underground Business. And it's me and El Zappo. El Zappo from Ben Harbor, Michigan. He signed the Fam Goon, Rilo's label. Okay. So in the future, you can look forward to Fam Goon, Rilo, all of us working together. What about together. Kevin Gates? Ain't he going to be on there? Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates, for sure. I just talked to Gates not too long ago. We're going to be doing some new music. You know what I'm saying? Dropping soon and everything. So... Everything is coming together, man. Free Honeycomb Brazy for sure. Man, honeycomb get out in November. That nigga left me and Honeycomb got some heat and we gonna stand on business. You understand days, me? Alabama though. time. I couldn't understand in 30 days he went in back to jail. Days. I was mad as hell. Man, you know what? You know, I link with him. You gonna be mad. Look, if you in Alabama, bro, <laughs> and you popping, you know, it ain't Alabama is not a state like Dallas, Houston, Atlanta and all that, they watching. And it's a lot of different kind of people. So once you try to start doing that, you become a threat. So anybody trying to just get you off the streets. Listen to me, I, I when he came home, I was I was honeycomb brazy crazy. I was like, I'm finna leave. You with still this. can be no, honeycomb no, brazy man. crazy. It, it, it like the it like the not it, crazy but brazy, brazy. Man, don't say look, don't say crazy. Look, say brazy, look, baby. It, it slid it slid on. I kind of slid into a pothole with him when he said <laughs> something about PMC. And man, it wasn't really, this, wait a minute. It wasn't about PMC, <laughs> but it was about PMC. He was this, wanting to try to go at something else, and so I get the text from somebody like. Uh, he didn't mean it that way, E, because I'm over here cutting Listen, up. Yeah. I, I seen him say that, you know, and I t- I asked him about that. That's my boy. So I when I see him, it. I asked him. See, you, you think you're harder than PLC, bro? <laughs> see, you tripping, Cone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Calm hard. I got to get to him. Pimp C a legend, man. R.I.P. the Pimp, man. It won't never be another, man. man. I don't think it'll be another harder than Pimp. But, you know, Cone feel like he that nigga. So at the end of the day, he feeling like, oh, man. Why Prince didn't pick me up in the limo and this and that? You got you got you got Pimp a, a Mercedes. What you got for Cone? Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. And that was a real statement he made. I, I don't think it was like towards Pimp or yeah. trying to say he really better than Pimp. <laughs> he just wanted them to recognize him as a great artist. I got the text. Oh, uh, he. I got a text from him. His manager saying that he. All you gotta pay, get Cone on here, man. Hey paperwork. man, you gotta squash that with Cone. Hey he man, Cone good. <laughs> Man, I stop. Cone, girl, I love it, man. Cone, man. Bro, I love that first uh, uh, interview he did. I mean, that video he did when he was in the projects. I'll never uh, forget it. That was the hardest, longest. And, and you know, I'm a longest I'm a, freestyle. I, no, I loved it because I'm looking for four, five minutes. Mm-hmm. So when it hit, 
I was like, damn, nigga. Like, all these niggas were doing two minutes. Think about it. Two, three mm -hmm. minutes. His shit was so long. I was like, we back, nigga. You know, I'm yeah. old school. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga you, you just want to hear him ride that beat. Now, yeah, come on. Keep going. Come keep on. going. Yeah, so, you know. I loved it, man. Yeah, it wasn't like that. He didn't. It was a statement, but he didn't really mean it. Like when, that, they the, when they sent the text. He loved Pimp C. He does. Come on, love Pimp C. When he sent the text, he's like, here go where I was writing all this stuff about Pimp in he prison. Pimp. So, he yeah. loved Pimp, and yeah, I know that. So, I was just giving it He's trying to make a statement to the label, man, you know. Yeah, he wanted and, some proper treatment. That's all. As he should, you know what I'm yeah. saying. He, he gotta be. He, he gotta stand have him on a business. bag waiting on him in a jet. Yeah, or a motherfucking Bentley or whatever he wanted. You know, what I want to ask you about you and him working and doing that song together. Uh, y'all had to do that as soon as he came home, right? As soon as he came. So how how was it? How was the energy? Did y'all go to the studio and do it, Man, or did y'all send I went, stuff? I had already really like did my verse, but I went shot. I had a show and I shot down there the next morning because Cone he was on like a. Anchor monitor. Yeah, of course. He, he only could be out from 7 in the morning to 2 or 3 in the evening type shit. So I shot down there. He laced it up. We was about to do the video together, but we didn't get to do the video together because he got locked up. Yeah. But I still put the video out and everything like that. But, nah, man, we had good energy. We got the whole great conversation for some hours, you know, trying to see the ins and outs and what he should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing and what I should be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. So nah, we, we most definitely came to an understanding to be on the same team to support one another and, and nobody is trying to, you know what I'm saying, like be the boss over this or the boss over that, uh, putting down on, on each other or nothing like that. So we just, we, we recognize that we both big dogs. We the big bees of the Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Besides I, us, it ain't nobody ain't else. Nobody. No. Well, I don't know. You can't say that, nigga. I'm saying it. No, Gucci I Man really it. from Alabama. You know, well, you Gucci know that. Man, Gucci Man got to go. <laughs> ain't nobody talking about no Gucci Man. <laughs> he is from there, though, right? Man, we ain't talking about no Gucci oh, Man. Oh, okay. I ain't know. We ain't talking about no Gucci I, Man, bro. <laughs> Hey man, Brad with a K no boss sure. talk one on one. One on one. <laughs> yeah, for real. So let me ask you this, man. Coming up in Alabama, is it is it tough with the way you had to come up? Or is it I mean, is it is it the streets, the projects that I live in, or is it or is it shotgun houses? You know, no, how it's is a lot it? of shotgun houses. It's, it's a lot of shotgun. shotgun houses. Uh the projects still out. They done tore down a lot of projects in yeah. Hutchville. You know, I'm from area Athens too. They got that. A lot of shot houses. You got yeah. Decatur, Alabama. They got some club shot houses. So I mean, man, it's it's it's, it's just a lot going on in Alabama as far as just being in the streets. If you want to be in the streets, you're gonna be getting it in the mud. The how mud, far is mud. it from Mobile though, from where you're uh, from? Uh, about five hours, Mobile. Five hours. Yeah, Mobile far. Montgomery, like three. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Nashville, uh, Tennessee, close. It's an hour and a half to really? Nashville, Tennessee. So you buy them them labels over there, you know that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nashville, my second home too. Then yeah, the Atlanta Nashville. is three and a half hours. It's so, kind of central. It's kind of yeah. In the, that's why Huntsville is like in the middle of everything. Yeah, and I and I love like I said. I, you got you told me I could come down there and rock out come with on, you. Come on, man. We both be hitting them streets, man. man come on, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got something going on real big. Uh, April the twelfth with Big Lee. Okay. Um, Swingers and Spokes. Um, they got Lil Kiki, Scarface. Uh, Lil Kiki coming down through yeah, now. Yeah, Slim Thug, Lil Flip. Um, shit, man. Who who I'm missing? This is Scarface, Lil Flip, um, Zero. They coming out through Styles that. Styles P from New York. I seen him on the flyer. Styles P. Yeah, that's it. I don't I know. Like I don't know how man. he got with the South Side, that's but what I'm tripping he, on. he pushing up in that thing. So it's gonna be April the twelfth at the Orion Amphitheater, uh, Amphitheater man. in Huntsville. Will you ever do anything else with Fred O'Bain? Yeah, I, I talked to Fredo uh, probably a couple months ago. Yeah, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you know what? The numbers, the number don't change. So yeah, most yeah. definitely, I gotta fuck I with Fredo because do the numbers don't together. change. Fredo too real. He real Fredo like, could hit me for 12, 15, 20 bands, but his number's still low for me. I yeah. got a low number. The number's still the same. So I respect Fredo Bang. He one of the one, the ones I respect out the music industry the most. You think you can top bodies? Bain. Think I can what? Top bodies. Zaytoven did that bodies beat. I'm asking you, can you top it? Once you man, go you in, know, my music I'm always getting better. I'm expecting something big. You go back in, with go back O'Bain. in. It gotta be bigger than bodies. That's what I'm it telling. It gotta be. It gotta be. 
You know, if I go back with Gage, I said, why you ain't got the song? Yeah, look, man, I ain't got the song ready. It got to be bigger than Why She big. Talking. And Why She Talking was a big song. It was a big song. Yeah. So you got to come back in with an energy to top that. And I know a lot of times, even I think even Dr. Dre a lot of times, we don't hear a lot of music from him because he fear what he can't top. He got to top it. You hear what I just said? You know, he got to top it. <laughs> he got to top what you he know, did. You messed that legacy up playing. Yeah. yeah. It is not nothing to play with. It's true. So, man, like, will I ever get to see you and Boosie back together doing something? You know what, um, man? You know every time the boost. This is boss talk. We in the south. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna come. I, I, I'm you with it. This, I'm, I'm not over it. there. I, I, hey, I love, I love Jumper. I see no jump. I see. All, but when I seen the interview, this the south nigga. This the south. So when we I start get talking, real. I'm saucing it up. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, Boosie, you know, yeah, we gonna do something. Like I was saying, the Boosie badge is always when the South Hard. by Southwest and this and that, but I was really trying to go to the Boosie badge and perform this year. Okay. But I got called in for the South by Southwest because I had a, 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 a new weed strand coming out, a okay. CBD strand called uh, by Thrax. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, Thrax got a new. That's what so, caused you not to go over there. That's what caused me not to go because okay. I was getting a new strand and trying to put that out and focusing on that. But yeah, man, Boosie, my dog. I love Boosie. Yeah, how was it, like I said, when you met him and everything, have you talked to him since y'all did that actual work together? Man, you know what? I think I bumped into him once, but before all the music, before I started rapping, me and Boosie always been cool because when Boosie come to the city, they called me to rock with Boosie. They're like, go rock, go make sure Boosie's straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So when he came to Huntsville, I'm rocking out with him anyway, so we always been cool. Wow, man. Like I said, you, Southwood winning, uh, Rizzo, Rizzo, like it's certain ones that have been Rizzo. on here from the from that from that Sauce Walker camp. So yeah, I seen Rizzo back. interview. Yeah, it yeah, was hard. Yeah, it was Rizzo hard. came with facts. He came with facts though. Yeah, Rizzo stood yeah. on business. Yeah, Rizzo stood he on business. Does. Yeah, like he, I said, he, I he enjoyed his coach. interview. He wanted them more. He got heart. Mm -hmm. Got a big heart, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and I love that about him, man. I can't wait to interview him again either. Mm -hmm. How was it when you and uh, Southwood and them did that pop it though? How was it? Like, How was it, man? When I got there, you know, I was on crutches then. I know you. You le you were so, leaning on niggas. I boy, seen you. I seen hey, you trying to stand through. up. So I was out there, man. <laughs> okay, I was waiting on walk. Walk don't want to show up to two or three in the morning. That's the celebrity status stuff. Then we on that. that. We on the oil. We on that mud. <laughs> you know they call drinking drink is drink. Nah, we on mud. Mm -hmm. We on mud. It's muddy. It's purple. The whole thing muddy. So we out there about sleep. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We start shooting that video. So we ain't been to sleep. So I'm like, hold up, y'all. This this what y'all niggas doing? I'm like, hold up, man. They gotta go go to sleep. We shoot this in a minute. Nah, let's go. We finna start right now. So we started shooting that video at eight in the morning, bro. We probably we didn't even finish all of that morning. We stopped shooting about eleven. Went home, went to sleep, woke up that night, came back the next day to finish the video. So, you know, we walked them. They really on the grind over there at the, at the uh, TSF studio at the office over there. Everybody working video. Over it. While I'm shooting my video, it's three or four more videos being wow. shot. That's hard at the same time. That's hard. Like, like, where do you think you get that work ethic from? Like that. You know, I think that if you're making that money out for it, you get five or six thousand every time you do it. That's gonna make you work too. Motivation. <laughs> Motivation. Hey, that Motivation. money he holding in the video, he just made, he just that. made that. So shit, yeah, I'll be dancing around. I tried to start dancing. If you watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Brad, what a cane in the building on Boss Talk 101, man. Say, so, I've seen you uh, hugging uh, my boy. Y'all kind of dapped it up, too. A drummer boy up there. Oh, yeah, you yeah, You met yeah. him. I, you and him, I already knew each other. I man. Met, drummer boy, you supposed to be on Boss Talk 101. Drum, I tried for twice, sure. Nigga. I got drum. Drum I mean, coming. We, we, we drum coming, people. man. We just, drum good. We be missing each other. Yeah, drum good, though. He's solid. Uh, I used to go, I, before I started rapping, I used to always be at Drummer Boy Studio with his brother Insane Wayne, R.I.P. the Insane Wayne, and um, my boy GQ. Okay. GQ used to be over there. So we go over there, you know, hang out, smoke. You know, Dolph used to be over there a lot. Yeah, R.I.P. So R.I.P. the Dolph, he used to be on the couch. He used to be over there. Gangsta Boo used to be over Gangsta there. R.I.P. the Gangsta, Gangsta Boo. Boo. I met all of them over there with Drummer Boy. And then uh, me and his brother had the same PR and management team called Outlast Vision, Shantan and Mimi. So I was there when he did when they did all that stuff. We was always together. When Drama opened his new um, uh, clothing store, I was there. Wow. You know, that's why Wayne got... Um, Shout out to that clothing store. That's why yeah, I met that's him. That's why he I got took down there. So, but, uh, man, Drama, good dude. Solid. 
Always on the go though He never was really in there He was always out of town But he would leave us in there To mess around So I respect John for that Did y'all y'all? You just seen him At the No Jumper set Yeah I just seen him Yeah at the no that was Jumper. hard huh Hard What was that conversation like Man he was just telling me It's time for us to work together He wanna help me Work on an album we was talking about the budget. We was talking about when we get time that uh, we're going to hit each other up so we can go over there and start working. Wow. I love to see it. I can't wait to see it. That you guys move the culture for, forward mm -hmm. with those, you know, with those connections and those those uh, different projects that you guys put together. Mm -hmm. How important is it now? Because you're independent right now, right? Mm -hmm. So how, how important is it, the layout, how you bring those projects out? How do you do it in this, in this day and time when... Everybody used to be so, you know, uh, reliant on a, a, a on a on, on the big boys on mm -hmm. on, on the uh, got to sign a deal, yeah, you, know, sign that, a deal. you know, like now you doing it on your own, yeah. you know, you're not signing to a label so much. How do you maneuver in this in, in this climate, man? You know me, I just stay in my own lane. I don't really listen to other people's music. I don't really pay attention to other people's Instagram and how they doing things. But how I do it, I stick to my PR team, Hip Hop United. Salute to them. Uh, it's gorgeous music salute to them um, we just go with the blogs and the sites that I've been using to try to market it in a small marketing way you know the big machine gonna get you everywhere but the small we doing this small with my budget I'm paying for everything out of my pocket everything you ever seen me do I always pay for every dollar every dime nobody wow. never did nothing for me for free so that's how I do it I just go to the bloggers marketing let them go from there how does that? I mean, but just, you know, Dame. Shout out to Dame Dash. He he said that will make you a boss when you when you putting the money up. I mean, I've been bossing then because so I put all the money. You put up. the money up. Yeah. And I think that's that. Congratulations to you to being a boss. You know, mm -hmm. I remember the interview the first time we interviewed. Just how you even got in the game. You know, basically listening to whether it be Kevin Gates when mm -hmm. he told you to. You know, basically, man. Uh, you know, you doing all this for everybody else. You need to do this for you. you yeah, know? yeah. You remember? Man, now we talked. I can't even remember the interview. How you remember that shit? <laughs> no, because I, I go back over it. I got a regret. <laughs> you a motherfucker? What? <laughs> no. Yeah, but Gates did. He he opened my eyes. He made me want to be an artist because I'm wasting ten thousand on this guy when he ain't even showing up. Man, he ain't even showing up for his own video shoot. So when I jumped in it, one thing, the number one thing I do do is be on time. You see, it was what? It was 12 o'clock. We probably was 12.04. Yeah, yeah, you came So through. I always want to be on time, and I always want stuff to go right. If everything booked, everything together, you ain't got to worry about nothing else. You can concentrate on your craft. If yeah. I got to go perform, I know the rental cars. I know Gorgeous got everything lined up, so I ain't got to worry about number rapid. And yeah. that's what makes your f performances great. Yeah, but if you got all this on your mind, you got your girl caught, woo, 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 mad at, you're not gonna have a great performance. Yeah, that's real. I, I think that's so true to get your foundation built correctly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can think. So you can think. So you can think. Without it, you 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 mess it up. You'll, mess it up. Your, your energy won't be on. All that good stuff. So all that. so gorgeous. How how did you and him even link up? Because last time he uh, wasn't with you here. No, nah, he wasn't. Gorgeous wasn't with me last time. Um, actually, he bought features for me. Okay. So as he bought the features, he like, man, you got to do this video. That I said, look, bro, I'm going to keep it real. I don't know the words to the, to the song. So if you pay me, I'm not going to know the words to the video, the song. He's like, I don't care. I'm ready to do it now. I got the money here. I'm not paying you until you show up to get this money. So you know I showed up to get that money. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't knowing the words. I'm in the video. But guess what? After that, he stayed on me. He want to do features. He, I said, look, bro, I ain't going to keep on trying to take your money, bro. That ain't what I do in this business. I said, so let me hang around. Give me a call. Let me see who you really are and what you're doing. So come to find out, his uncle named Cubone. Cubone is a personal chef for Snoop Dogg and E-40. Wow. So I've been talking to Cubone through one of my other homies who locked up named Uno. Free Uno. Free Uno. Yep, Uno hooked me up with, with, with Cubone. I never met him in person, but me and Cubone tight. You know what I'm saying? So he told me, he said, Cubone, my uncle. I was like, what? I was like, hold on, hold on. What? Call him, give him a call. He called him, boom, my nephew. Because uh, uh, Cubone always be like, hello. That's his favorite That's thing. That's his name. Hello. Hello. That's what he do. Yeah. So he's like, hello, that's my nephew. I'm telling you, you with nephew now. Hello. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So... That made me tell them, okay, boy, that just because of that, 
come on, you you with me. Hang out with That's me. Then. Come on to hard. the Airbnb. You can be my manager. I said, all right, you show me this and that. We can do some paperwork, whatever you want to do, because your background is solid now. That's hard. That's you got hard. a solid background. I don't care what you do, nigga. Cuba on my dog. So it, you can't even do no wrong in my no wrong. That's hard. You feel me? Yeah. So that's where that come from. Man, and to be able to trust like that, you know, because yeah. of another relationship yeah. you already yeah. know. And he was a good dude like Trouble. Him yeah. and Trouble came about the same. So Gorgeous is a good dude to trustworthy, just like Trouble. Wow, that's dope, just man. Just like Trouble. I, I hope to see you guys just blow all the way up and take this thing where it need to go. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, you 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 gotta you gotta answer me this because I, I I seen you talk and I know you didn't thought about what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, finesse two time, mm -hmm. the fuck Alabama statement. You gotta talk to me about like like. Um, what you it, want me to say? Fuck that no, nigga. No, no, I don't want you to say that. <laughs> Hell no. I want you to tell me really kind of how you really defusing it because you in you in Texas too. You know what I mean? Um, you know already uh, who he linked with and how he moving. Yeah, he moving. Um, how do you deal with that in this type of atmosphere today, where people are looking to say, "What do you you know? What do you think about that?" That's a big statement. The internet, Man. the World Wide Web, is going to embrace that, and and they're going to ask you this question. On yeah, I just think he he was a total idiot for making that statement. Like I don't got nothing against dude. That, what he got going with Cone, but Cone, my dog, I love Cone. So Alabama is us. So at the end of the day, by you saying that, bro. You just, you bringing the, the fire to yourself, no matter who you with. No matter who you with, bro, can't nobody stop nobody from doing shit. You know what I mean? So you need to watch how you say shit and how you moving. Wow. If you solid, you solid. They, you know what I mean? We all solid. Them niggas can, you know what I'm saying, chop it up like grown men, I feel. But at the end of the day, I feel like, come on, bro, you're a total idiot. Do you think that he might have just spoke uh, out of place and really... Don't, he I might think regret he was doing high. it. You know that what nigga saying? probably was on. people do get high. He probably people. was high or something. I don't know. He probably. I don't know what the fuck was was up with that. But that was a. Uh, that right there was just like damn. You hated it. Did you really like him before that, or did you even know man, him before that? You know that? what, man? Everybody was running around here. It's cool when they do it. That's what I did. It. I, I love it, man. Fuck but you hear you hear all these you know, stories. So about it's like. It just like, man, you know, he showed me a different person. I thought he was a different dude because he vice lord. He's supposed to be rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? But we see how you rocking. We wow. see what it is with you type yeah. of shit. Do you think that, that, that them guys could ever be cool again? Mm. You know what, man? And I, and I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they came up in a situation where they was friends. That. You know what I mean? Because Cone can see shit too. He's seeing what's going on. So he like, man, fuck that nigga. Wow. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is, type shit. Wow. Cone said, fuck that nigga, like, type shit for real. So I'm like, damn, for real? I'm like, y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying, chop it up. But at the end of the day, he came with that bullshit. Yeah. He yeah. didn't give it time to chill. Okay. He came straight off the dome when this man get locked up. You doing all, okay, that was some whole shit. He waited. Say that, when that man out. Wow. You ain't got no problem with Alabama. You got a problem with Honey Cone Praise. Wow. And and that's the thing. You represent Alabama to the I fullest. represent Alabama. And, and, and I ain't going to never change. I ain't going to change my thoughts and comments on nothing about that. He got my Instagram. He can DM me. He can get in touch with me. Wow. He wants something to say to me. Say it, nigga. Yeah. We grown men. Yeah. You know? I, I, I mean, once something's out there and it's on the internet, and people are watching, and, and it's being infused and inflamed on a daily basis. People clicking and coming and clicking. sharing it. The people going to see the shit. real. You're going to see real from fake. They need to go back and watch that whole shit and see who how he moved. He moved different. He didn't move right. You don't wait till that nigga get locked up and go to capping and yapping and all that shit, bro. You address that situation like a grown man. Wow. That's what you say you is. You done did all this time in prison. You mean to get out of here, you going to act like a hoe? Wow, man! <laughs> I'm just hey, listen. I'm just I, I had to ask you the question because I know you already were asked on. No oh jump, man, but, I didn't like, like that I at all. Oh, I was feeling some type of way. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, what the fuck, this nigga? Cause you niggas want to do features with him from Alabama. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people in Alabama that don't like Cone. Everybody in Alabama don't like Cone. You right? But now he he gonna make it to where they. They going to roll over there to Cone. Because guess what? How can they do a song with you and be with you? And you said, fuck the state. They got to go back home. Wow. They live in the state. 
Wow. Nobody that, can't do no song. No, nobody can't do no songs with him from Alabama and be hanging out like that. And ain't nobody finna be booking him for no show and get their shit all ate up and chopped up. Damn. Damn. And, 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 but that but but it's this internet and getting on this internet, you can you can really cause damage to things that you the way you move and just by what you say on this internet, right? I agree. I agree. I think he's an intelligent guy. I think he just got he got too caught up into Whatever, like I said, he might have been high. What is you know? That, I don't know what it was, but up. he really made a mistake with that because you got you want to do shows in Alabama. Alabama, they they, they love you in Alabama. Yeah, they love you. I did my, they my boss talk they, hold on now. they loved. They loved you in Alabama. They loved. Okay. Get okay. it? Loved. Yeah, because I come Put to Alabama the D to on shows. Now. Yeah, I get it. Loved. I don't think that love gonna be there no more. Wow, man. You wow. have to patch that up. Damn it. Man, so a statement coming online and saying, hey, man, I, I recant my statement like they do in the podcast. No, no, pull up in person. You got to come to Alabama. Come on, come on. Pull up with Kane. Pull up with me. Pull up with me. We're going to go everywhere. We're going to go to Mobile, Montgomery, Birmingham, and Huntsville, nigga. We're going to do some meet and greet. Come meet the people for free type shit. That's the only thing going to get him in the dough. Damn, man. Woo. Yeah. Man came, man. And Cone got to okay that. Cone got to okay that from, the, from, to get, the, from behind the bars. Cone got to say, yeah. Behind the bars. Behind the bars. He got to let you know. Cone got to, it's, it's, it's Suwu business, man. How long are you, have you and him spoke since he been locked yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I just spoke to him not too long ago when I did that no how, jump. How's his energy? How's he? How's Fuck he? him. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Fuck him. That's exactly what his energy is. It is. Straight up. Wow. So, it, what I mean, as far as you and him and y'all talking about when you get out, what's the plan? What's the, uh, no man, real, what's going you down? You know what? We, you know, I, I, you know, I'm the type of rap artist. I do my own thing. So, I, of course. I can link up. I ain't going to say I'm going to be with him all the time, this and that, but I'm going to try to spend more time around Cone. I hope so. And I'm going to try to do more music with Cone, but I ain't going to say we're going to do all this music together, this and that, this and that. We two different individuals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He got his life, I got my life. So, I mean, we're going to link up when we link up. We're going we gonna to tap in. We know what it is. You feel me? We support each other. We know what it is. But, you know, I don't know. We need to put out an album together, Alabama album, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'd love to see that. Yeah. That'll be hard. Because that, that's going to show that unity, bro. Yeah. And that's where that power yeah. comes yeah. for our people. Yeah, we talking, though. We talking. We on a, we on a daily talk. I want to see that happen. I want to see yeah. it. I'm going to tell him. When we leave unity, here, man. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm tell him that you asked about him. Oh, you want sure. him to come through when he touched down. I, I asked about him last you know. time. You know about it. Because, like I said, we were texting back and forth okay. about that PMC yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yo, that PMC. I said, come on now, bro. I got I got I got I got five bands, boy. You talking about what? But yeah, Cone, you know. He dope, man. Yeah, he one, he one of the hardest up out the state. So, you know, he going to represent the state. He don't care what else and who else it is. He think he harder than Tupac. Well, you know, uh, y'all got hit with another blow. I'm going to bring this up, and I ain't going to stay on it long. Right. Uh, it was on a whole nother, you know, uh, you, Ricky Smiley from Alabama. And, mm -hmm. and Cat Williams hit him with a blow. You know what I'm saying? As far as the comedy thing, you know. About yeah, I kind of <laughs> heard him a bit about the, about the gay shit. No, it was, well, it was, it was more about wearing the dresses and the fact that yeah, they were the Friday together. Have, have, have Ricky Smiley ever wore a dress? Yeah, he did. That in what movie? He always wore a dress in the movie. Ricky Smiley ain't wore no dress. Yes, he did what? in that one that after a Sunday, the Sunday's best or something. I got to go back and watch yeah, this shit. Yeah. Ricky Smiley, come on now. Represent Alabama in the right way. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> going on Ricky Smiley I come on I used to listen game. to your shit in the morning now I'm finna I delete your shit off my channel <laughs> what you said is hell Ricky Smiley man. on some more shit <laughs> no man what do you think about all this stuff going on in this you you think about P Diddy man he in trouble oh, man Diddy. no I got that you the question take, that, take, that, take, right. that, take that take that take that take that hey Diddy take that take that shit. do you think these allegations are right man, man they coming at me you know, I, I always was a Tupac fan. Damn, he in I trouble. I always he in trouble. loved Suge Knight. He in Free trouble. Suge Knight. Damn. Go watch, uh, go listen to the uh, Suge Knight podcast. He talking about a lot of that shit. Wow. And Diddy, you know, you know, you've been. I, I don't know, but you dance a little sweet. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's, it's video popping out everywhere. How precautious are you 
I hear these women jumping out the gym for you, you know, trying to holler at you. I mean, you know, you've seen it, you know, droves of them. I've seen droves of them. I've been at the Palm since 07, 08, every six months. I see droves of women being dropped off, droves of women being picked up, going in with these celebrities, droves of women being going back out again. Like, what? how do you, how do you maintain, how do you sustain, bro? Me, I don't do the women thing no more. I done spent my money. I, I, done, I done spent my budget on enough women right now. So that ain't my thing. You know, in and out with the women, that ain't for me no more. But to each his own. You know what I mean? So if they want to break bread like that and spend their money like that, go ahead. I'll go but buy me some they, jewelry. i go buy I, me I'm a so, car, a house. You know so I mean? we ain't gonna hear nothing, you know. You if not when you, cause you, you know, run up on that bill it. ticket. You ain't gonna, when hey, the movie coming out. Hey, the you know only thing you gonna hear about me, not from no women. I might have smacked a few niggas up, <laughs> might have smoked a few niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got away with it, so that's in the past. That's the only thing you gonna hear about that's me. It. Nah, solid. I ain't never hit on. Right? I ain't hitting on no women. I ain't really got time to argue with no women. That's, that's it. That ain't the energy that I got. That ain't what I carry. It, women know better than that with me. That's hard, man. You know what, what else could I ask about it? What's going on? Yeah, you got something for it. I know I just you. Had, um, I had one question. Uh -oh, it's over. Okay, because I know you be hanging. You always have a click with you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, do you think it's okay for um, when you're in a click for y'all to be dressing alike as men? What hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold Oh, <laughs> where we at right now? Boss talk. What the boss talk. Where the bosses talk? Yeah, I thought we was in the hair beauty salon. <laughs> you, I'm a man. Look at my. I yeah, don't know nothing about it. Say, Who want to dress together? Who um, did that? I give, saw me, where give me an example. NBA young boy what? and Hearn, his homeboy. They took a picture. There was a matching outfits. What he was hell? even holding his locks like this. Who was holding who locks? Hearn was holding NBA lock. NBA Young Bucks was ho holding um, Hearn lock. Hearn locks. Oh. NBA. Is he trolling? NBA Young Boy. I think he trolling. I think that was, that might have been a video shoot. I respect NBA, but bro, don't be playing in no niggas' hair. <laughs> We don't do that shit. We I'm not, not going. That. That's no. why I'm like, is that supposed to be cool as a dude? No, that's not cool. That's not boo. I say boo. That's not boo. Three hundred cone brazy. Wow. Nah, that NBA. Come see me. Call me. DM we not, me. We not doing. Let's that. get it together. Birdman. That ain't what you got going on over there. Is we not doing that, right? We not doing. We not definitely not doing that. Not doing that. Not playing in no man's hair. We can't do it that way. That's a no go. That's, that's a, a no, no fly go. Zone. No fly zone. <laughs> Just like your asshole, nigga. No fly zone. Uh, e exit only. Balls, man. You gonna talk about, man. Brand with a K, man. Listen, man. I, like I said, I enjoy you every time you come down, man. You better not come to Dallas. Don't check in. You got to holler at me. I got to make sure I'm in, in pocket so I be here. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to uh -huh. miss out on the bread when it came. For sure. Interview, bro. You For family, sure, man. man. For, For sure. Real. I appreciate I'm you. I'm not gonna let you just come down through here and not see old Boss Talk 101. What man, a boss I appreciate talk, you. Man, man we, we had some great interviews, bro, and man, I be watching on, them man. all the time. And you always have great interviews. I be, I be watching. dropping them all, though. Man, you coming with it. And hey, you coming with the homie, the OG homie from Pyro. Ooh, that's that's tell, how I tell him I said up. what's up. That's tell him I homie. said Suwu business. That's my boy, man. Like man. he go, hey, he got some stuff hey, out there. I've been I've been it, checking him out. He go through the he room. He said Cat told that, but Cat, why you didn't tell who offered you the money? <laughs> now, Cat man. Williams, you on Ricky smiling. Cat Williams, you running a four. Five, four, you four, Joey. Nigga? nigga, tell the truth, nigga. What you running from? <laughs> nigga, what you get up, nigga? <laughs> Hey, man, I gotta ask you this one thing before I let you go, man. Your legs seem to be doing better. I seen yeah, you running with your son. Better. I think that was your son you was yeah, running that's with. That's my little son I in Orlando. I enjoyed seeing you run. You know, run. I said, man, my boy, at least you know, because that means something to me. Yeah, I look yeah. at those kind of moments, man. Yeah. Like, and that's, I want to just get that out of you. Like, how's the how's the leg healing? Man, it's healing good. I'm going back now. I'm finna start the gym. Okay. I did my last therapy last month. Um, it's healing slowly, but it's healing. So I, I use a, a bone stimulator every night, once, two, three times a night. But actually, man, it's feeling a lot better because I walk up and down south by southwest for three, four days. I've been out, you know, sometimes it hurt, aches, but hey, man, you got to push through that pain. Now, you say it totally detached from your body. Totally detached. It came all the way off. All the way off. And they put it all the way back on. Put it all the way back on. Nerves and everything. Nerves and everything. That ain't nothing but God, but man. In the front, that ain't it, nothing it ain't but no God. feeling in the front a little bit. I don't bit. give a damn. But I, I, I don't give that number God because it was off. I'm talking about you could have threw it in the trash can. 
and they, and they put it back on. Put it back on. Man, that's a blessing, ain't it, babe? Because mm-hmm. yeah, most blessing. people they can't do that. Matter of fact, ESG. When I interviewed him, they he ESG. They couldn't, he, yeah, yeah, I was just with ESG. That's my boy. Salute to ESG. I was just with him. We was just in the studio when they, they, before I left. Hills got he so said, damaged they couldn't put it back right. on. Can't put it back yeah, on. Yeah, and and and. I went to the hospital and interviewed him right there at the hospital. And when they was cutting it off, yeah, all that. I'm, right. I'm you. I'm, I'm. That's my guy. So, boy, that boy didn't got fat now too. You seen him sitting in that chair? I man, he didn't got big since the last. I said, bro, you need to stop eating so much, bro. What he say? Boy, that's that good life. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to SG Salute man. To the big I love that dude, man. Love all them, all them uh, original dude. SUC members, little Kiki, man. Little all Kiki, them boys, man. The R.I.P. to uh, Big Poke. All R. them, R. man. Love, love. All them man, you mm-hmm. locked in with Texas man. Yeah. You and I both. You been down to San Antonio yet? Well, I went out there um, last year for the We Outside tour, but I didn't get to really move around in San Antonio and get yeah. to see like really what's going on out there. I'm going down there uh, probably next week and rock out with. How the is it? I'm just going. To, it's my not for the for the show. It's my first time going. I've been down there several times, mm-hmm. so I'm going to interview just to put some of them guys on. You know, I gotta. Do I'm gonna check you out because I want to see. Do it. it's, I, it's, I, it's I want to see. It's down there. I'm I got a family member living in San Antonio from okay. Huntsville. Okay. So he out there. He been out there probably a good. 10, 15 years. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing they're making them, good money I'm out there. Here they get down. I'm hearing they're getting down down there. Yeah. The, the guy I'm interviewing, one of them, he was in the little Kiki uh, video. He, the San Antonio Spurs come out to his song. It's 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 three prominent artists down there that I got to show love to. We mm. in Texas, man. Okay. I'm coming to Alabama, too. I, you man, know, come on. And, and I always go to these cities, man, because we in the South, man. We got to push this info we up. We got to push it up. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for Thank sure. you for coming on the show, man. Get, where can Appreciate people reach out to you, get a hold of you if they're trying to link with you? Man, you can hit me up on IG, K-A-N-E-B-W-A, or you can DM It's Gorgeous Music. You're trying to work. You're trying to get some features. Trying to do some interviews. Holler at Boss Talk for the interview. Hey man, man that's I let real. boss talk for them uh, interviews and podcasts. Come yeah. on now, cheer, man, bro. Check it out, man. Y'all make sure y'all get it. Look at this next clip by Bread One and Kane. You don't want to miss it. It's coming up right after this. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. What a boss is talk. 